So I'm teaching the Reformation today, and I'm talking about Johann Tetzel and the sale of indulgences and all that kind of stuff, coin and coffer, rings, a soul from Purgatory Springs. And I have a problem. My students don't know what Purgatory is, okay? I'm like, do y'all know what Purgatory is? And they're like, uh, is it some kind of place between heaven and hell or something like that? You know, kind of like Jesus didn't know where to put you. It's like, okay, some people are easy. It's like sheep, goat, sheep, goat, sheep, goat. You know, Hitler, Stalin, goat, Mother Teresa, sheep. But then you come across these tough cases and it's like, wait, what's that? And, you know, found out today from the biology teacher, confirmed it, so did Wikipedia. You can make some kind of hybrid sheep goat. It's called a geep. Like, bah! I actually don't even know what sound it makes, but this is what it looks like. And I was like, whoa, part sheep, part goat. Too cool. But anyway, that is not what purgatory is. What purgatory is, is a place of purging. Purgatory, you can think of purgatory. What you're having done to you is, the thing is, if you are a Christian, then you are going to go to heaven if you've received the sacraments of the church and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to heaven, Lieutenant Diane. If you're not a Christian, you're going to hell. So the thing is, your ultimate destination is either heaven or hell. But the problem is that while you may be a Christian, you are also a sinner. And a sinner can't be in the presence of God. God can't be around sin or anything like that. So what you're looking at here is we need a place where we can put you until you are ready uh, to be in the presence of God. We got to purge all that sin out. All right. Purgatory is described in the Middle Ages as some kind of place of really bad suffering. Like if you look here at this picture, you see people going through the fire bath and all that kind of stuff. And it's like you get in there. Some people need to be in there longer than others. Thankfully, at the end, they'll throw you in a bunch of water, let you cool off from whatever like fifth degree burns you have or something like that. Uh, but not a pleasant place to be, but it's for your own good. Kind of like when your parents punish you or something like that, right? Hurts me more than it hurts you. It's for your own good. All of that kind of stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Right, right. Uh, but really, when I think about purgatory, and the way I explain it is purgatory is like the dentist, all right? And this is where you go into the dentist office. Now, my dentist is awesome. Doesn't keep me waiting. I have a great time over there all the time. Uh, so, I don't want my dentist, if he's watching, to think I'm talking bad about him. But a lot, I've been to a lot of dentist offices, and sometimes you go in there, and you got to fill out paperwork. That's bad, all right? And you got to sit in the waiting room. You got to listen to some kid cry or something like that. But ultimately, your destination is the dentist and you get in the dentist chair. Then, scrape, scrape, scrape. Then it's like some people, it's like, okay, scrape, 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 <laughs> and you're okay. Time to go. Now, some people, they're like, oh, we've got a little problem. You know what? Do you have a couple minutes? Can I fix that? All right, great. And then you got a little bitty filling. Now, sometimes it's like, you're going to have to come back next Thursday. And you're like, great. Okay. But, even the person that's going to come back next Thursday is going to come out with a clean bill of health. That everybody that enters the dentist office is, at some point or another, going to come out with clean teeth and cavity-free teeth. So, it's just a matter of how long it's going to take you to get there. Uh, and that's why people spend various points of time in purgatory and all that kind of stuff. So, remember that purgatory is like the dentist. And everybody is eventually going to go to heaven. Think of it as a waiting room for heaven. I hope I cleared that up for those of you who didn't understand purgatory. Uh, if you liked what you saw, subscribe. Check out my website, TomRitchie.net, Twitter, Instagram, at TomRitchie. I've got somewhere to be, but I'll talk to you soon. Until the next drive.